Hey guys, Marcel here. Welcome to this new tutorial. I also want to thank you guys for hitting 1000 subscribers. Thank you very much. It uh, really means a lot. I uh, really didn't think that it would I would get this far. Like 1000 is of course not that much, but for me it means a whole lot and I'm constantly what looking at this screen. This new tutorial might be a bit short. It's going to be the stealth or the camouflage effect of the spy. It's also known as the predator effect. If you haven't subscribed yet or you have subscribed, just a small notification because YouTube has this really weird system and even if you're subscribed, you don't always get a notification when videos are uploaded. And a lot of people have this issue. So just want to clear that out. That if you go to the subscribe button here and you subscribe, you get this option here. And if you click that, now for me it's all in Dutch, but it's basically saying um, if you want to be reminded for any updates on this channel and you just click this, save it and then you're done and you will get notifications when I upload videos. Just, just wanted to notify that. All right, let's get into this tutorial. I've got my plates ready of my uh, of the Team Fortress video. If you haven't seen the Team Fortress video yet, so check it out. It's in the uh, description below. I've got two plates here, one just normal background and one with our spy in it. You can see that this side looks a little bit different than here because the light is coming from the back. But in this case we're not going to focus on that. We're just going to focus on our spy being able to camouflage. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to call this Tyrell because it's Tyrell playing it and this background. And I'm going to effects, keying, key light, and let's knock this away. Go up here and do status, and let's see here. I'm going to screen mats and just mess around with the blackness a little bit until the gray is all gone. And then with the whiteness until he is completely white and this is black. All right, let's go to final result. It's looking good. All right, now I am going to pre-compose our Tyrell composition. I'm just going to move it on to attributes in new composition and I'm just going to keep it at Tyrell. All right, next up I'm going to create an adjustment layer I'm going to call this distort. Go to effect. And let's see, distort. And then we need the displacement map. And we'll set the displacement layer to Tyrell. So let's see here. Oh, if we turn him off. We should see him here. What we might do, since this edge is, as you can see, it is knocking out a little bit of the greenness of this uh, of this side here. For me it is. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to mask that out. Because it is a little bit reflective and the green screen was uh, reflecting some green on the side there. So I'm just going to knock that out really quick. Better it real fast. All right, there we go. So now we have a distorted figure walking there, but we don't really see too much detail. Also, what you see here is that the edges are, you can see up there, that it's kind of knocking the footage out on the background. So what we can do there, let's go to effect, stylize and motion tile. Let's drop it in front of the displacement map and let's just set it to like 150, 150 and mirror edges. There we go. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate our Tyrell footage. So duplicate, so control D to duplicate and let's turn this on. 
and we're going to search for the effect uh, find edges let's drop that on there and now we get these wheel lines let's invert this so what we now get is these really how we get these lines and or else of course completely turn black but what we can do is we can set the blending mode to add and now the blackness is away and we only get these edges now we can even mess around with the opacity a little bit so that we can still see something of Terrell moving instead of we see only a displacement moving around all right up next we're going to create a new black solid let's call this fractal um, let's see let's drop this between the Terrell compositions, let's turn these two off for a moment. And let's turn the Terrell composition on. Go to effect. Noise and grain. Fractal noise. I'm going to mess around with the noise settings here. So let's go to transform and scale this up. Quite a bit. Let's just set this to quarter. Let's turn the contrast way up. And the brightness maybe also way up until it is completely white. All right, what we can do next is if we go to Terrell footage and set it to Luma Matte. And if we then go here and we mess around with this, we can see that he starts to deform the lower we bring this value. So if we take this, place it below the Terrell footage and let's set a keyframe for the moment he comes out here for the brightness maybe do around something like here and turn it way down and maybe we can even press T for the opacity let's set it to zero first and the moment he just disappears completely set it to around 50% until we get this. We can even go to the fractal noise. Alt click on the evolution. Type time. Shift 8 for the star. And let's set it to like 200. So that it animates a little bit more. Maybe even 500. Oh, just one tip. Let's place the distort below between the Terrell compositions. Otherwise, our main Terrell composition, our main Terrell footage is also going to look distorted. Well, and there you have it. So that's it for this tutorial. And again, Thank you very much for subscribing. I'm really glad that we hit 1000 subscribers and let's see if we can hit the 2000 or maybe even 5000. And um, if you haven't seen the Team Fortress video yet, again, it's in the description below, so check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.